So Darko Miltic is one of the biggest draft busts of all time. Was he nearly as bad as a number two pick like Hashim to beat? No. Was he nearly as bad as Anthony Bennett at number one? No. But at the same time, he was in a draft where the next three picks were three Hall of Famers, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. Two of them being multiple time champions, and one of them arguably being the third greatest player of all time at his position. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're putting one video every single day in December. We are doing a daily December. I see some of the biggest videos that I will be uploading for the foreseeable future. We're trying to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if we can hit that, that'd be insane. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. But in this video, we are going to give Darko Milicic 99 potential. We're going to give him the potential to be the greatest player of all time, to be even better than LeBron. And to start it off, we are the Cleveland Cavaliers. We are going to just simulate the rest of the regular season. Let's see how we get on. Well, we obviously didn't make the playoffs. It's the 2003 NBA Championship, and uh, it's Sam Cassell winning MVP. So in the 2003 Finals, instead of the New Jersey Nets, it is the Milwaukee Bucks with Ray Allen. Ah, the my team goat, Tim Thomas. Who coach winning 4-1 against the Lakers. Madness. Now the important thing, the NBA draft. So Darko is projected to go 25th here. I'm going to see if I can get like the 13th pick for Darius Miles because Dwayne Wade goes number one. LeBron goes two. Chris Bosh goes three. I was like, ah, oh, number four, I might be able to get um, Dwayne Wade. But we can get take Carmelo Anthony. You know what? We miss out on LeBron, but let's take Carmelo Anthony. And then for our next pick, where is Darko Milicic? He is right in here. We're going to be taking Darko with the 13th pick in the draft. I mean, I could take Kyle Korver or Mo Williams. One or the other. I think I'll go and take Kyle Korver. That works for the 31st pick. Okay, so we got Darko, we got Carmelo, and we have got Kyle Korver straight away. Okay, we bumped him up to 99 potential right here. He is playing the first year as a 74 overall. And we got to make some deals just to clear up some cap room because we're not going to be good this year either. Uh, we obviously are not looking to be good so ricky davis you play a lot less minutes you play a lot less minutes matt bonner starting power forward he's gonna be starting center and uh, then i'm gonna give corver mo williams more minutes i think the mo williams he went undrafted as a free agent and we'll look to sell zadrunas or trade zadrunas yeah trading zadrunas is probably the right idea i'll make this trade give me a young mike miller and it's definitely a downgrade from zadrunas but i'll get a young miller Play him at the two. Be fine. So yeah, our team's probably a bit too good. We're probably going to win too many games. So, Darko, you're going to be out here playing like 40, 46 minutes a game. Like Miller, go down a minute. Jop. You can play enough minutes that you're going to be okay. But it's going to be Corver playing the whole bunch of minutes. So, same with Mo Williams. Mo Williams should be getting a lot more minutes than that. So, let's lower the minutes of some other guys. Get Mo Williams at 24 minutes a game. And let's tank. Let's at least tank till Darko becomes a freaking god. I mean, I like Kyle Corver, but give me Chauncey Billups. Just let me ruin the Pistons. Let me ruin the Pistons. Let me give him Ricky Davis. Let's just ruin the Pistons. Okay, not a great season. And LeBron going and winning Rookie of the Year. Let's see where Darko ended up. Did Darko even make... He made the All-NBA second team with Carmelo Anthony. What did Darko average? He averaged only 7 points per game. However, he averaged 11 rebounds per game. 1.7 blocks per game. I mean, he did only shoot 34% from the field, which is awful. Yeah, that's not great. You know what? Still made an All-NBA All-Rookie team. And the championship this year, it is the Spurs who go and sweep the Bulls? Corey Maggetti, Marcus Pfizer, Jamal Crawford, Jalen Rose, Tyson Chandler, Eddie freaking Curry. This team should not be getting to an NBA Finals. How do we end up with the eighth pick in the draft? How do we end up with the eighth pick? I'm guessing Dwight went first, Josh Smith, Iguodala. Is there anyone that we want here? I mean, Varejao, Livingston, Bino Udre, Trevor Ariza, Tony Allen. No, just, just give me my freaking... Just trade this pick for anything. I was certain I was going to get the first pick. Okay, the Bulls first round picks for the next two years and can we throw in a, a 2008 one as well they want Corliss Williamson for four first rounds take Corliss Williamson I'll take my four first rounds I'll gladly do that okay let's offer Mike Miller a deal it's kind of the only one that I really want the only player that I really really want to keep is Mike Miller okay so this is our team going to this year we can make a push for the playoffs not like we're going to do anything but with Darko up at an 80 overall let's go make a push for the playoffs Okay, so we're doing all right. Fifth seed in the conference, though, which is kind of crazy considering we're going to win over 50 games. Be the fifth seed? Tracy McGrady going to win MVP. Dwight going to win a rookie of the year. Over Harvey Stewart is winning sixth man of the year. Carmelo Anthony averaging 33 points as the most improved player. 
Carmelo Anthony, did he make an All-NBA team? He made the second team. Did Darko make any teams? No, he did not, obviously. In terms of the standings, 53. Ah, oh, I forgot about this. If you won your division, you're automatically a top three seed. I forgot when this used to happen in the NBA. So we had the fourth best record over the fifth seed because the Raptors won the division. Forgot about that. So Darko averaging 8.5 points, 10.4 rebounds. Terrible shooting from the field. Terrible shooting from three. Not good shooting from the line. But I do have him, like, I do have his tendencies fairly high, which means he is taking shots. He's just shooting 41% from the field as a big, which isn't great. But he is averaging nearly two blocks a game, a steal a game, and 10.6 rebounds. So he's had a good two years. Not spectacular, but he's had a good two years. So we are facing Milwaukee, who we had an identical record in the, M in the regular season with. And they actually won the NBA championships two years prior. It's kind of mad. And Boston bring Orlando to seven. I'm guessing Orlando will take us. Who do Orlando have other than T-Mac? Oh, we gave them Elgeskis. Yeah, that's not good. We gave them Elgeskis. They got Finley. They've also... They got hurt Kirk Heiner in that draft. Uh, yeah, that is a sweep. To be expected. And the Orlando Magic go and win the NBA Championship with T-Mac averaging 40 in a game, a game in the finals. So now we're into the 2005 NBA draft. Let's see who has what pick. We have the 27th and 28th picks in this draft. The 28 offers for the 27th pick. We're going to get something good. Obviously, I'm going to take an unprotected pick from Orlando. Oh, Ilias Ovo still on the board? Who's still on the board? Oh, I think Gortat. I'm sorted at center position. I know that, but Gortat's good. Rather than taking Gortat and get me a top three protected to pick from the Spurs. Probably not going to be worth anything, but it's 2007 draft, so there are some guys that I can get, and Gortat goes 30th. I'm happy with that. Happy just getting some other picks. If we're not going to get Chris Paul, there's no real point in being too worried about the 05 draft. So yeah, obviously we're going to accept the team option of both of these guys. Okay, so we can leave the money to pay Sharif Abdurrahim. If I have the money for that, I'll take that. Okay, so coming into this season, Carmelo Anthony's up at a 91 overall. Obviously, we still have Sharif Abdurrahim. We still have Chauncey Billups. But Darko's now up at an 85 overall at 20 years old. Mike Miller up at 84. Like, our starting five is insanely good. And we also got, like, Earl Jenkins, Dermanenko to give us some bench options. Um, Mo Williams up at a 79. Matt Bonner's not too bad at a 76. So we've got some players. We've got a lot of players right here. Obviously, after Trenton Hassel, we're going to play, but... We're doing all right. All right, safe to say we're the best team in the NBA this season. Darko Milicic and Carmelo Anthony leading the way, but the team is 48 and 7. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good record. Not gonna lie, like you cannot, cannot get much better than that. Like, we're obviously not gonna win 73 games, but 70 is not off the cards. We won 70. 70 and 12. LeBron winning MVP. Chris Paul winning both six man of the year and rookie of the year. Duncan and defense player of the year. Eddie freaking Curry, lads, winning most improved player. And Ricky Smith, our coach, winning coach of the year. And Melo being the only player to make an all NBA team on a team that wins 70 games. That is not great. Does he at least make an all defensive team? No, Darko didn't make an all-defensive team. So Darko's points are down. Everything is down except for his defense. 1.3 steals, 2 blocks per game. His percentages are going quite a bit up, though. Like, 3 points staying the same, um, but his field goal up at, like, 46. So Darko, at plus 9 points per game, is be he's becoming just a defensive enforcer. In 30 minutes, he's not averaging the most points, but nearly 10 rebounds. 1.3 blocks, 1 point, or 2, um, 1.3 steals, 2 blocks. While he hasn't become the goal offensive player, I mean, he's become a ridiculous defense player, and you just never know what's going to happen in the next couple of years. But um, Melo, obviously incredible. So the Orlando Magic, last year's NBA champions, go on to get themselves swept right here by the Cleveland Cavaliers with Carmelo Anthony and Darko Milicic. And it is a win right there for Cleveland. Not New Jersey. We really gonna lose to New Jersey? Um, nope. Thankfully, we go and beat them. Okay, playoffs is a 2-3-2. So if we don't win the first two games, it could be very awkward. Nope, we have them, I think. And it's Carmelo Anthony versus the Nuggets in the NBA Finals, which is kind of a mad one. 3-0 up, and it's looking like it's gonna go 3-1. Who did Nuggets have? The Nuggets have LeBron. So it's Carmelo against LeBron, and it is LeBron who got the better in that game, but looking like it's Carmelo who's gonna get the better for the series. And ooh, a very, very close game five right here. And Carmelo Anthony makes it a three-point game. That's a huge score right there. Who the hell is this playing point guard for Denver? Barnes. White hair. Bit of a strange one. It's, Carm it's LeBron James taking on Sharif Abdurrahim. He's getting boxed. He's getting boxed here by Sharif. They got James Posey, Rip Hamilton. Is that Marcus Camby at center? It is. It's a nice pass right there. Okay, Dermanenko calling a timeout there. Probably hopefully get Darko in the game. 
Okay, Mr. Big Shot is on the line. Darko is in there for defense. I wonder when Darko will win his first defensive player of the year. Like, that has to be coming. Obviously, he didn't win, hasn't won one his first three years in the league, but a defense player of the year has to be coming for this guy. Okay, so they basically have one chance to hit a three in this the mid-2000s where not many guys can shoot the three other than probably rip. Okay, Melo is in guarding LeBron James. Maybe in this simulation, he's a defender. Ball goes into the hands of whoever Brammer is. Pulls up for three. Leaner misses Darko with the board, and Darko gets it to Carmelo Anthony. Big board there for Darko. And Melo completely ices the game right there ices the series and ices his first nba championship lebron for three it doesn't matter even if this goes in 1.4 seconds to go they have no time match. just get it in and launch just launch the ball chauncey and chauncey is two for two right there no timeouts they gotta go long or just shoot the full court shot i don't even think they got it off in time and it's an air ball and it's the championship for the cleveland cavaliers and it's carmelo anthony winning his first finals mvp in year three the year where Dwayne wade gets the finals mvp for this draft class turns out it's carmelo anthony now leading his team to a ring okay so we're in the 2006 draft which is a pretty weak one we have like the 18th pick and the 30th pick see you still on the boards i'm not thinking ryan hollands okay i'm gonna trade this pick and hope that i can take pj tucker with the 30th pick okay two protected first round picks and a pick swap in 2007 i will take a 2010 unprotected first round pick i will gladly take that and then the question is is like is um what's that gonna be available is pj tucker gonna be available oh i can take tucker or joe ingles i'm gonna take an 18 year old joe ingles right yeah and he still goes number one wow joe ingles at 69 overall it's fine so darko hopefully darko will put in like close to 90 this year and then Carmelo is just freaking god. Need a backup small forward, so Luke Walton on a short-term deal might be the might be that guy. So going into this season, Darko's now up at an 89 overall. Melo at a 93. Billups still there. Decent ish rating. Probably will look to trade Billups this year. We still have Sharif on a long-term deal. So we're gonna be able to get these guys on a long-term deal. I just need to trade Billups, to be honest. So we just have somebody else a point guard coming at the next season. You know what? I'm gonna take this trade. Make Manu a point guard. Uh we have him for another year. And also we also get an unprotected first round pick. I'll make that trade and it will be good for the year. Okay, so our team is now we're going we got Mo Williams starting point. We still got Miller, we still got Mello, Darko there at center, Sharif. We got Earl Jennings, but now we got Manu coming off the bench. So we should be okay. We should be all right with that team. Okay, another good season. Definitely not going to be a 70 win season this year, though, unless we win like all of our games at the end. Nope, a 67 win season with Wade winning MVP. So Melo being the one and only one of those big three that hasn't won MVP. Surely defensive player of the year. It's Tim Duncan again with 1.1 steal and 2.2 blocks. Mo Williams, though, in a most improved player, our starting point guard. Obviously, our coach winning that. Did anyone make any NBA teams? Nope. 67 games for nothing. In terms of player stats, this year, Darko, 10, 10, 1.5, 1.9. Like, he's been getting robbed of defensive player of the year. He's getting absolutely robbed. Like, while maybe, yeah, he's on the greatest career of all time, he's having one of the best freaking defensive careers of all time. Mo Williams there with 12 points a game. Sharif, Earl Jenkins coming in with 12. Manu Ginobili with nine points a game. Really was not good at all for him this season. But uh, yeah, so I was still hooping. We're doing well. We're doing well. Is it going to be another year with a ring so we're playing atlanta and it is i thought it was gonna be a sweep nope a 4-2 win playing against the nets who the nets have michael red jason kidd chris paul okay they're gonna be good apparently not apparently not a sweep right there and it is the milwaukee bucks who do they even have eddie curry is about 85 they got ray allen as well still bobby simmons sam cassell tim thomas my team goat i'm guessing this will be an easy round here and it's the grizzlies oh, who do the grizzlies have how gasol dwayne wade okay yeah yeah that makes sense pow and dwayne wade that's gonna be a serious serious team they don't even need much else other than pow and dwayne wade and they have got a 3-1 lead they go win the championships with dwayne wade winning finals mvp didn't win one in 06, but did come back to win one in 07. So we're now to the 07 draft, and we have the first pick. I don't know where we got the first pick from. We have the first pick, the 13th pick, the 25th pick, the 29th pick. So we have all of these picks. I don't know, honestly, don't know where we got this first pick from. But, but, we can take Kevin Durant. We can take Kevin Durant. And I also want to see if we can get the second pick as well. 
And I also don't want Portland to get Greg Oden. And give them Dermanenko. You know what? You know what? Wait, he won't read. He's a restricted free agent. Doesn't matter. Uh, Sharif Abdurrahim, you can get in this trade. We don't necessarily need you right here. And uh, we're going to take Greg Oden. Unless one of these trades is like God, the God offer, we're taking Greg Oden. Did they really offer me Sharif for the number two pick straight up when I gave them a whole bunch of crap as well as Sharif for him? No, I want Greg Oden. I want Greg Oden because injuries are turned off. I want Greg Oden. Do I really have to send these two guys? Oh, I really have to just match the deals for them for this year. That's so annoying. It is actually so annoying that you have to offer them the minimum. You can't just give them their actual contract. We go. We kept Matt Bonner. Okay, so this is what our team's looking like for this season. We've got Mo Williams, Manu Ginobili, Carmelo Anthony, Kevin Durant, and Milicic with Mike Miller coming off the bench, Earl Jenkins off the bench, Greg Oden, Dermanenko, and Matt Bonner. So basically, I need to just trade Dermanenko for someone that'll play a bit more and uh, probably trade one of Manu or Mike Miller. Okay. Earl Jenkins for our backup point guard sorted. I'll take that. And yeah, Aiden Dermanenko for Danny Granger. That's our first round pick. I'll take that. Hey, team's looking good for this season. And hopefully this is Darko's first defensive player of the year season. Even if it's not his first defensive player of the year season, hopefully he can go and uh, at least make an all-defensive team. Considering his defensive stats, he should have made at least one at this stage. Okay, I don't know who Jesse Cardinal is, but uh, Manu's got one year left in his deal. This guy's got four years, and he's also a lot younger. So, uh... Considering the fact they're both coming off the bench for Mike Miller. I'm I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. But a good start to the season again. 32 and 8 right here. Okay, 67 wins in the regular season. Kevin Durant winning rookie of the year. Now is the moment of truth. LeBron wins defensive player of the year. To be fair, two and a half steals and 1.8 blocks is kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie. It is kind of nuts. Um, Did he make an all-defensive team? Darko didn't even make... Oh, sorry, he did. He did. He at least made the all-defensive first. Okay, so at least he's having a good career. I mean, he's not having a LeBron james s goat-style career, but he's having a good career. And it is... Are Memphis going to beat Denver? So who's going to win, Dwayne Wade or LeBron? I'm guessing we're going to sweep our... Or we're going to breeze our way through to the finals. And it is... Oh, it's Wade who gets the better LeBron in the playoffs again. So we go and sweep the Nets, but this is a very, very interesting round. And it is the Lakers. Dwayne Wade does not make it back to the NBA Finals. A Richard Jefferson, Gilbert Arenas, Kobe Bryant team. They got Marcin Gortat with that 30th pick. That's a hell of a 30th pick. Trevor Ariza. Oh, this one's going to be a close series. We go 1-0 up. We go 2-0 up. Maybe not. I thought with the team the Lakers had, this is going to be a really, really close series. And it's a blowout. It is an absolute blowout here. A blowout in the series on Carmelo Anthony winning his second finals MVP. We're down to the 08 NBA draft. Do we have any picks here? We have the fourth pick. We can take Russell West. We can probably take Russell Westbrook. 114 and two other picks to go up to number two in this draft. So Derrick Rose goes number one. And, uh... Look, I'm not the biggest fan of this guy, but I'm taking Russell Westbrook. We need a point guard. And we've been playing Mo Williams there. So we need a point guard. And now we've got our point guard. Melo left. Melo joined the Celtics. Okay, Darko, 95 overall. This is well and truly his team now. This is not a title contender, realistically. Kevin Durant's going to move the small forward. And then we're going to have Odin playing center. Okay, a solid, ooh, only 69 win season. LeBron winning another MVP. But again, none of that matters if he doesn't win the big one, an NBA championship. And he had another defensive player of the year. 2.3 steals and two blocks per game. I mean, look, that's just too impressive now, isn't it? And Kevin Durant making an all-NBA team. Darko still yet to make an all-NBA team. However, he did go make the all-defensive first team, which is something. I mean, Darko is now averaging 18.4, 14, 4 assists, 1.7 steals and 2 blocks per game. While now shooting 46% from three. Plus 13. So this is this is the Darko on Kevin Durant team. Darko absolutely balling it. And Russell Westbrook now up at 82 overall. Okay. I'll take that. 16 points per game off the bench. Surely should have won six man. Mo Williams starting at the one. Won't be starting probably for too much longer. We do have him for a few more years. And Danny Granger. Tipping him with 10 points off the bench. Cardinal doing all right. And Greg Oden. Not having a great year. Only averaging 31% from the field. First round. It is a game. In, it's series in six against the uh, the Heat. Followed by six against the Wizards. Followed by five against the Nets. Oh, it is LeBron James. We were taking on the in the NBA Finals. The first Finals meeting between Kevin Durant and LeBron James. And it is one all. LeBron takes the lead. LeBron's team take the lead. Blow a 3-1 lead, LeBron. You know you want to. You know you want to blow a 3-1 lead. And LeChoke is doing it. LeChoke has done it. LeChoke has done it. He has blown a massive, massive lead. Kevin Durant with finals MVP. And LeChoke still can't go and win a ring. My God, in this universe, Skip Bayless is having a great L time.
Okay, the Warriors have the number one pick, and we just can't let them. We just can't let the Warriors do what they're doing. I'll give you Russell Westbrook for the first pick. I'll give you Russell Westbrook for Stephen Curry. You want a 2010 unprotected first pick? I'll take Marcus Banks. I'll take Marcus Banks. Gladly we'll take Marcus Banks just to go and take Steph Curry. We got Westbrook in the last draft. Stephen freaking Curry. You're coming on to our team. I mean... I'll take Psycho T my, with the 60th pick. Just for the intangibles, just to have Psycho T just in the squad. So Steph Curry there at point guard. That's going to be a nice player. I'm going to keep Psycho T just for the lulz. Okay, so we need a better backup power forward. Marcus Banks, Aaron Brooks. Because these guys aren't in the rotation. They're not bad players, but neither of them are in the rotation. So I'll make this trade. I'll take a 29-year-old Stroma Swift as a backup power forward. That gives our, that gives us a bit of a nice team. We just don't have a backup center that plays, gets any burn, do we? Steph, not... Like, Steph has to start. Look, look, I get it. I get it. It's his first year. Steph has to start for this team. I don't care about Mo Williams. He has to start. Danny Granger, you can play some less minutes. Cardinal, you can definitely play less minutes. Um, Bonner's got to play some, but Perkins has got to play a lot. Steph's got to play at least 25 a game. Okay, a 73-9 and nine season before the Warriors. Kevin Durant going to win MVP. We're just like, is LeBron is just god dear on defense. Surely he makes an all-NBA team. He doesn't even make an all-NBA team. All-defensive first team. Okay, Darko at least makes that. But again, if you're looking at like player stats, this is a down season for Darko, I guess. Down from 18. Despite the fact he's 90 overall, down from 18 points per game. I mean, 14. That's because Steph Curry's on our team as well. Um, But Darko averaging 14, 12, 4 assists, 1.4, 1.8. I still had a god-tier defensive. Uh, he's just clearly not at that, you know, GOAT potential. And that is another series win. And they're facing the Lakers. Who do the Lakers have? Kobe Gilbert, Marcin Gortat, who we just probably should have drafted. And another finals MVP for Kevin Durant. At the end of the first round, why not just take Larry Sanders? Okay, so we're now in the modern era for the second last season of Darko's career. We started off by trading Cardinal for Salim Stoudemire. Genuinely just to get like a guy for another year. Um, we just need to get Perk, play Perk some minutes, I guess. So, I mean, our team is stacked again. We just want to come off another NBA championship. And let's see, can Darko finally go and win his defense player of the year? That's what we need. We just need to get him a defense player of the year. So it is a 67 win season. Durant winning other MVP. Come on. LeBron's just too OP. LeBron's just way too OP. Like he made another all defensive first team. He's been an all time great defender. Like Darko legitimately has been an all time great defender. He just hasn't won a defense player of the year because LeBron is freaking Thanos on that end of the floor. Obviously, Darko's not going to be the scorer. Oh my god, we went 3-1 down against Orlando. And now, surely this Lakers super team is going to have a chance. Apparently not. We went 3-1 down against Orlando. Who did Orlando have actually got 3-1 up against us? Carmelo Anthony. Oh, he jumped ship again. Tracy McGrady, who's a 9... Tracy McGrady's 99 overall. Leroy Cousins. He makes a 99 overall in 2011. He was out of the league in 2011, pretty much. Kevin Durant winning finals MVP right there. And another ring for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we have the 14th pick in this 2011 NBA draft. And Kemba as a backup point guard could be nice. We do already have a backup point guard sorted. Do I want, is there anyone that I want? Let's get Isaiah Thomas a ring. Not really care about anything else. Let's just get him a ring. <laughs> Derek, Derek Rose. <laughs> oh, I love some of these fake names. Um, anyone that I want in this draft? I wouldn't mind Boyan. Uh, but give me Val. Give me Val and Junis. And in the 2011-2012 season, the final season of Darko's career... Darko is teaming up with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and Greg Oden to form maybe the most scary big four in the league with Mike Miller there. Still at an 86 overall. My God, was Mike Miller not... An, he was great for Miami. My God, was he not a 96 or an 86 overall 2011. Salim Stoudemire, do not think this guy was in the league in 2011. Danny Granger, I mean, he was better than that in 2011, not gonna lie. Mo Williams... Decent player, I don't, fake player, Isaac Barnes, Stroma Swift, probably headed league by 2011. Guy randomly started in the Western Conference Finals in 2014 for San Antonio. But this is, again, another absolutely stacked team in the career of Darko Milicic. Okay, yeah, this team's probably going to break 73 and 9. 73 and 9 was a record that was set last year. This team's probably going to go and break that. My God, if Carmelo Anthony had just not left, he, he walked. He walked, and all of a sudden, he's he's got no rings since he's left Cleveland. And Cleveland's, I don't think I've lost a ring since he left. So 43-3 and three at the trade deadline. As soon as I start talking, they lose two games in a row. They lose almost as many games in a row as they did for the whole season up to that. But 48-5, and five, Lance, his team doing incredibly, incredibly well. In Darko's final year, before he's going to retire to become a kickboxer, and then retire to become a cherry farmer. 
because either way, no matter how great a career he has had, he's gonna be a Hall of Famer here. He may not have had the career of Dwayne Wade, the career of Carmelo Anthony, or the career of LeBron James, who all won MVPs, but he has definitely had a Hall of Fame career as he retires after 10 seasons in the NBA. And the team does not break 73 and 9, they tie 73 and 9. LeBron back to winning his MVPs. LeBron going to the Raptors, really. Kawhi winning rookie of the year. Devin Harris, six man of the year. LeBron, he shouldn't have won Defensive Player of the Year. I'm guessed. Did he make an All NBA team? In 2012, we have Sean Marion making All NBA teams, but no Darko in an All NBA team. We have Andrea Bargnani making an All NBA team, but no Darko. With the Knicks of all teams. Darko making the all-defensive first team again. Like, I will say it, though. I will say it. Darko Milicic has had a Hall of Fame career. Not a GOAT-level career, but a Hall of Fame career. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting series. Who do Raptors have other than LeBron? LeBron, Amare, Tyreek Evans, DeAndre Jordan, uh, Bledsoe, and it might be better than Eric. Now, this is, is a big one. Can LeBron's Cleveland Cavaliers break his heart? No! LeBron breaks the hearts of Cleveland in the final year of one of the GOAT's careers, Darko Milicic. So Darko Milicic in 10 seasons retires as a five-time NBA champion, four-time All-Star, five-time first-team All-Defense, five first-team All-Defenses in a row, one second-team All-Defense, and a second-team All-Rookie. While yet yeah, may not have been the GOAT career that he may have hoped for with LeBron to win in his second ring, maybe being one of the greatest of all time, or was that his first ring? I'm not entirely sure. Did they even win the ring? No, we don't even know if they won the ring. With LeBron winning his first ring and first finals MVP in 2012, just like in real life, it does appear that the career of Darko Milicic might be kind of downplayed. Even because he only did score a max of 41 in a single game, which isn't the highest, to be honest, but a guy who became one of the best defensive players of all time. One of the best centers of all time for those 10 years and at 26 years old after his 10th season in the NBA is deciding to retire to, well, become a kickboxer. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.